What's up guys? We're out here in Shalam. Shalam is actually a very, very new township. It was granted a city status back in 2000. The government had a lot of development plans for this place. One of the biggest ones is UITM. We are here actually today to meet a lecturer from UITM who is, I would say, a close friend of mine. Let's go meet him. Hi, my name is Brian Chin. Some of you may know me as Botak Chin and I am the CEO of Messers. Over these past four years, I have had the privilege of meeting many people who inspire me. So follow me on this journey as I bring you to meet some of these people. Hello! Hello! How are you, Brian? I'm good. Long okay. time no see. So you are now at the... HQ. HQ lah. Abstract headquarters that I know it's, it. It's huge. It's, yeah, it's huge. For Abstract to have this three-story shop, I think it's, to me, it's just a blessing lah. So if you come to Shah Alam, I think the only place that you have to go in order for you to consider that you are in Shah Alam is Abstract Content Store. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's, let's head in and check it out. Welcome to my shop. Uh, okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> okay, this is Abstract Headquarters. So this is I, what I call Stadium Abstract. Yeah, man. It's, good. it's all the JC uh, that we actually come up. Uh, this is all that. And this is the corner where it's uh, Evergreen Hill. Uh, this the shrine. This is the shrine for <laughs> our success story. And here, I always, it's my favorite quote. Tell people that never afraid to fail. How did you get involved with abstracts? I saw Fami setting up a booth because he was working with Bankface back then. Mm. I look at this brand, Abstract Nick, can go far. And then we talk about you know how we can actually work things out. After that, things just uh, boom, boom, and whatever you see today is just. <laughs> The, the rest result. is history. Uh, the, the rest <laughs> is history <laughs> lah. We have three shops and uh, so many things to run in mm -hmm. abstracts. So why don't you just quit your teaching job? If I know how to do it, I have to be a teacher. And students are very motivated by saying that, oh, I'm having a class with Dr. Abstract. That's the, the joy that I get from teaching, you know. By teaching, I inspire people. And students can really see the things that I do outside. And they can relate. That's the most important thing. Walking the talk. Right. To be honest, from my perspective, it's, it's crazy fast. Like the right. way you guys, boom, and it's three years and you have three shops. Which of all these collaborations that you did is that point where the momentum started going really big. I think my best collaboration product is our masterpiece collaboration, the one we actually we work with Malaysia Airlines. Yep. I came up with this idea of road to Jakarta, and then I actually, you know, prepared like a 13-page proposal to Malaysia Airlines to ask for sponsorships. I emailed them out, and I waited for two weeks. I remember that guy called me up. They said they have to reject my offer, but before we actually hang out the phone. I tell him, okay, if you have anything, a project of involved design, you know, please remember abstract. Within a few seconds after that, he called me back. And if it is, yeah, I think uh, we have this project where you have to design few collaterals for Malaysia Airlines and in return, we'll give you the sponsorship ticket. So I brought my crew yep. and in return, I actually come up with one design called Flight High. And people are seeing that shit, hey, cantik lah baju ni, you know, is it for sale? And then everyone uh, was asking about it. Everyone was asking yeah. about it. You know, when mm. people receive that shit, people hashtag flying high, tag Malaysia Airlines, and then they said, oh, fine, let's just work together and create another second yeah. jersey. Yeah. We launched the jersey in 2014, and we've sold about 20,000 pieces to date, mm. roughly, and on that one single design. Because of that design, I attract change to another different brand uh, that cater for the public, yep. right, for Malaysians. Yep. So we've created jersey that represents or unite Malaysian at large. You closed down the store in 2009. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe you can just tell us about that. It's just some uh, issues that we had with, um, you know, paying rent. People don't really trust local brands back then. It's important for you to taste fail as well. It's okay for you to fail, yeah. right? But it's not okay for you to quit. Okay? That's right. When Fami and I started Abstract, it's not about just self-satisfaction. It's more of 
showing people that we can do it. It's very crucial that we inspire people mm. because what you give, you get back, yeah, especially on good things. Lah. My time is always limited, but I love the things that I do. And everything, every moment that you do, you blend passion with the things that you know, uh, you can be successful. Lah. What is so inspiring about this whole conversation is that I think it teaches us to sometimes don't just do it for the money and just really do it out of passion and uh, all that will really lead to you know whatever he said he really really wants to serve people and that's just something really really if it's not passion I don't know what that is right so this is what really inspires me about Dr. Fries if you really like what you see don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our social media